I want you to understand one thing and this will help you a lot in your career, in your personal life when you will make any type of decision. You can't take things out of context. This is what I have noticed working in the industry for the last six years where I have seen all type of project, all type of company, work environment, different tools, different softwares. We have seen all of that. And what I have realized that you can't take the thing out of context anymore. You have to understand the context of any tool, any project which exists in that moment and what we have right now. And that's the same thing I have seen in the last couple of months. What I have realized that many of you are getting into this comparison that AI is better or Web3 is better. What kind of comparison is this? You have to focus that what do you want to learn. You have to understand that where you want to give your time, where you want to take your career. There's no doubt that AI is going to be with us. Neglect that part. It's going to be there in every single work we're going to do in our organization, in our home. AI is going to be there. But you cannot compare the AI and the Web3. It's a matter of your choice, whether you want to become an AI developer or you want to become a blockchain developer. If you want to become an AI developer in 25, where you can see this AI train, AI automations, LLM, different type of tools are coming and you are thinking that this is bad and this is not good, I don't, I don't, I don't understand that what kind of comparison you are making. Web3 is a totally different technology. I hope you guys are following in the last four months what happened in the Web3 field, the kind of investment, the kind of liquidity we got in the, if you look at, if you are following the US market, they're pouring a lot of amount in the USDC token for the liquidation. So there is tons of things happening. Web3 is going to shape the entire financial system we have at the moment. And it's really amazing. That's why you can see the top country, top companies are giving huge focus on this DeFi project. And different type of project which is coming on the blockchain, which deal with the data management governance, that's happening there. AI is going to facilitate our day-to-day -day life. Whether it's come to building, whether it's come to managing, it's going to facilitate. But when it's come to money management, which can connect the entire world with one another, we can see that how easily we can be able to perform the transaction from one country to another. If I have to send money to USA through the old mean of transfer, I have to simply wait for 10 days. There is a three to four intermediate in between and they're going to take 10% of amount, amount, whatever I'm going to send. But if you look at the financial system which we have in the blockchain through this decentralized exchange, we can do it instantly by paying the by paying the whatever the transaction cost we have to pay. So these are the two different things. Again, don't get confused. You have to be very good. I do agree with the loopholes we have right now. You can see sometimes some contract get compromised, and due to that, like the exchange lost the fund. That's happening. But this is the same thing happened in the centralized centralized stock exchange where you will find the companies getting listed and they're getting bankrupt where people are losing money but no one is talking about that but the same thing has happened in the web3 ecosystem they're saying that it's it's not that good it's scary you can't spend your money like it's a technology if you don't have a good developer if you can't build the project properly there is a loophole in the contract then definitely it's going to be compromised if you're launching any project, you have to back with the utility functions. You have to back with the hardcore value of that particular money which you are spending on your token. So you have to have your motive. You can't compare just like this randomly and say this is better and this is bad. I hope you are getting the point what I want to highlight here. Web3 is a powerful technology and you will find that the entire financial system is going to move towards the Web3 ecosystem. The system is going to be stronger day by day. You can see we have multiple layer system is coming into the market. Earlier we have layer one, layer two. Right now we are getting this and you can see the transaction is getting super fast. Different type of security measure, security protocol is coming on. Different type of companies are spending for the providing a better security system. So it's happening, it's developing, it will take time. Like this Web3 is just five years old. Like barely it's got the popularity in the last three years. So you have to give some time. If you spend your time, if you master your skill at the moment, it's going to help you in the long run. Because right now, trust me, I'll be honest with you. Right now, it's very hard to find a good developer who can build end-to-end -end product, who know the skills. Even in our organization, whenever we want to hire someone for some project, we have to guide them that how you have to do it. Because we are not getting fully ready developer who can start working straight away on the project and we can 100% agree that he's going to work perfectly he know all of his work so we as a as a organizer or as a developer 
I, we hire someone and we train them and then we board on them for the particular project so that's how we are working it right now there is a lot of shortage for the blockchain developer again i'm telling you a lot of shortage for the blockchain developer if you don't have the skills then it's going to be very hard for you to sustain in the industry if you don't know how to write a program if you don't know how to write the smart contract if you don't know how to build a full stack blockchain developer then how would you expect to get a job i want you to spend some time look at the job profile which is available in all of those security company smart contract development roles just check out their requirement that what they want if you don't have the skill then how do you expect to get a job this is the one thing i have noticed that you guys simply give one or two months and start applying for the internship you don't have a proper project to back up your skill to prove it when you sit for the interview you just throw random thing without having any context i'm telling you based on my personal experience when i took interview for some sort of companies this is what i have noticed you talk but you don't know what are you talking about so just try to work on your skill then it will help you just don't jump around this ai tool this will come and go so far you will find that hundreds of ai tools are coming in is already there in the market where they will help you to build a website but do you really think that you're going to take that particular one into the production ready is just like a payment gateway like stripe paypal or real business you can able to scale those it's good to build a simple landing page where you can able to have a product where you can do the promotions run the ad campaign is good for that i don't know the future what will happen in the future but at the moment we need a good developer who can build that this ai will help you to faster your development but you need to have understanding about the core knowledge you need to have that code knowledge then you can able to perform and optimize the entire structure of the code so this is what i have noticed and some of the youtubers are also making this and doing this comparison that ai or web3 i'll go with ai definitely ai is better web3 is not that because of the scam are scam is everywhere in every field if you talk about the financial banking system we have if you see how many money we have lost in the past decade just have a look go and read the papers research paper then you will find that how many company got listed in the stock chain and they just got bankrupt people have lost like billions of dollar in the market so talk about both the thing you can't compare evil and good you can but you have to understand the context i hope you have got the point be rational think don't follow anyone blindly and the one thing i would tell you that watch less video i make this video you can see but again i am telling you that watch only those video which is relevant to you right now you will find that the same channel is uploading multiple ai tool video what is the benefit of you how you will get the benefit from those videos are you going to use those ai model yes or no you need one good ai model which will help you to start because right now all the ai model has the same capability that's what i have realized right now the ai models got stagnant like the graph if you look at the graph progress graph it's quite just a straight line just little spike you will get and they will say that new model but it has the same range so you have to understand don't waste too much time watching this ai ai video banana what is the role of banana like this google launched the banana ai how are you going to use it like how you will use it you watch this you're going to use it you will waste your time you are a programmer you have to learn your code skills this thing will automatically come once you will have your understanding fundamentals clear if you have your like programming skills clear you can easily able to cope up with all of this it's not going to take much time with for this like it's going to be super easy for you so don't waste time don't compare it try to finalize it that what do you want to do it if you want to become a blockchain developer these are the things which is required i'm going to give my time focus and i'm going to spend my next 3 to 4 month to this technology and i'm going to build these other project and i'm going to get into the company so that's your sh- that should be your focus this ai tool it's very easy to use it very easy to use it. anybody can use it but when it's come to getting a job and internship do you think that if you know the ai tool you're going to get it the company that's not going to be happen mark my word it's not going to be happen so i hope i made my point clear and just let me know what do you think i really want your feedback in this even i'm learning from all of you guys you might have your good any point of view any opinion which you can share with you which you can share with me in the comment section everybody can read it even i can learn from you because no one is perfect like we have a limited with knowledge we try to learn more 
the more you will learn the better understanding you will have then then you can able to make a good decision so that's the thing i want you uh, so that's the thing i want you to focus so just let me know in the comment section what do you think about it have a wonderful day bye bye